Hello, my name is Karx82, and welcome back to my Correct Tech New Horizon series. I am just doing some crafting up here of methane. Morning. Um, I have just crafted. I've actually done quite a lot of moving around of cabling and stuff. Uh, just to kind of sort it out a little bit. I kind of sorted this out so it looks a bit neater. And uh, I also added, um, this was, this has always been here going up to the controller, but I had all the different P2P networks coming off of this from underneath the floor. And I was finding that a bit annoying. So I ended up attaching some up here and I've just kind of laid cables out um, to about here. I haven't touched any of those yet. And I kind of did the same over here. We got cables going in there and then this one is connected there and that's connected there, um, etc. I'm um, just, and like this one's here and there. Um, just, uh, so it's a little bit easier. Uh, having three layers is just kind of crazy <laughs> as we can see. So I think I'm gonna try to get everything back on two layers. I don't know. Um, but as we can see right here, I have a chemical, large chemical reactor, one of a few that I will probably be building in this episode. Um, but this one uh, is for finally getting uh, polytetrafluoroethylene. I've just been doing, usually I do 32 fluorine and I make a stack like that when I need it. Um, but I think it's time to finally uh, get this automated. Now, one thing I actually didn't realize, I had never noticed this recipe before, um, but I've always been doing it like that. And uh, I was like, oh yeah, I can just throw that in a chemical reactor, no problem. Um, but I actually realized there is another recipe that cuts out one of the steps. And instead of making the chloroform, so the chloroform is the methane and the, the chlorine and the methane, um, you can do it all in one step so i am gonna do that i think just because like i said it cuts out a step um so i do need a circuit of 24. so 24 and i am does it yeah, it's only 12. Okay, I couldn't remember if it was... I feel like it was more than 12, but I only put the LV hatches, but oh well. All right, so I'm going to have to do two processes in this, basically. The hydrofluoric acid and the uh, tetrafluoroethylene. So this one is easy enough as well. I mean, these are both really easy. I do need a second circuit, it looks like, though. Um, which means I'm probably going to have to get an input bus uh, so I can add the circuits. Um, I don't think I'm going to craft it into the molten polytouch. Like, I don't think I'm going to add the oxygen in it. I may just do that in a regular chemical reactor um, because then I would have to have two more inputs on that. And I'm trying to maybe limit that a bit. And also it's harder to uh, turn off when I don't need it. Um, but I do need another circuit. I already forgot which one I needed. Or the hydrofluoric acid. I need a one. All right. So that one. Just gonna make sure this all works. Um, I do need hydrogen. So 32 of that. I'm going to need chlorine as well. I don't know, let's do... Does 12 chlorine each? Why don't we just go ahead and do, I don't know. Uh, 36, let's just try 36. I just want to make sure this works and then we will move on. There is that. 
And then I got my circuits. I do need an input bus, which I should have plenty, yeah, from the assembly line. And then I have methane over here. All right, so let's just test this out really quick and then we will move on. I guess we'll do that in there, that in there. Throw the input bus in there. Now, hopefully, this stuff doesn't I don't have conflicts here. Um, now, I got to be, well, it'll fill up whatever it needs to fill up. That's fine. Obviously, this will be uh, automated. All right. That was quick. I should have gotten 32. So two of these are full? Yeah. All right. Well, that works. That's good to know. Now let's put... The one thing I'm worried about is... Oh, I put two different types in. Uh, the one thing I'm worried about is the this part. Chlorine seems to cause issues. So let's put the chlorine in. Let's put the hydrofluoric acid in. And the methane. All right, there it goes. I was like, where did it go? All right, so it should do three, three of those things, I think. Isn't that what I... Yeah, I remember. Anyway, so there is the, the touch of fluoroethylene. So, all right, I'm happy with that. Um, so let's move on to the next part, which I'm going to need a couple more chemical reactors. So it was the reason I wanted to craft the stuff up. So I may end up just throwing this in here for now. I don't know. Maybe I'll do it in the other thing as well. I don't know. Let me figure that out and we will be back. And we are back. I have, think we got everything here. Uh, but I've said that before and was wrong. So, all right. So there is this. We'll do the first part um, in one chemical reactor because I think trying to do it all in, all in one, I think it's going to be too much uh, just because it needs so many ingredients. Yeah, because the first part it requires six six by itself. So uh yeah. I don't know if I got oh I forgot to get the input the output stuff. Whoops. So I think we need if we look at the gasoline we're doing the raw gasoline and the, is it just the raw gasoline that we're doing? Or maybe I should do, hmm. Should I do that also in here? I could just throw more tooling in, but that would have to add two more hatches. Um, no, I think, I got to be careful with the voiding of fuels here too. So I'm thinking if I do, we'll do all this. Yeah, because if this is crafting this up, although I don't have that much naphtha, so it's going to go through it pretty quick. Um, Maybe I should just store this somewhere. Yeah, because I don't think I'm going to be able to. Yeah. All right, so that's what I'm probably gonna have to do. I'm probably gonna have to put this into a tank. And I just noticed that is 20. So I actually need a bigger hatch than I usually do. The output hatches only do 16. All right, so for this though, 
We have the refinery gas, the naphtha, acetone. I'm going to create some methanol in this. So you can either do hydrogen, CO2 gas, the carbon monoxide, but there is a recipe that is hydrogen, oxygen, and the carbon dust, and that'll actually create the methanol. So I think I'm going to do that in here as well. So I need, what was that? We just get the methanol out of this. Okay, so that's one output hatch. Two output hatches, I guess. I wonder if we could lock. I think you can lock the hatches. Let's try that too. So let me go ahead and craft up the hatches. I'm going to need to do, I guess, I'll probably do out I, ah, HV. I always do that. I'll put hatch. If I do HV, it doesn't work. Yeah, probably HV. I think that's the easiest. All right, we are back. And uh, I actually already had these in my A system, so that worked out. So we're gonna do one, I guess we'll do one of that. And one of these. All right, so everything has formed. And the nice thing is, since I've been upgrading all my multi-blocks, I actually have a bunch of hatches too, all my energy hatches. I have two more EV ones, so we might as well just go ahead and connect this. All right, so EV. There we go. Yeah, and that's 4x, so that'll never carry more than 4 amps. All right. So first thing I guess we need to do, I guess create the methanol. So methanol, let's look back at this again, is hydrogen, carbon, and Oxygen, is it? I mean, there's other ways to do it. Probably the easiest would be to do just distill it, um, but I don't have that. So I figured why not just try this and uh, see what happens. So 23 carbon oxygen it does require four hydrogen to one. So, but I mean, I have so much hydrogen. I just void it. I'm constantly voiding it. So 23, let's just grab a, like two stacks of carbon, I guess. I don't know, hundred, sure, why not? And then we need, so four, I guess we'll do, We'll do that, I guess. Hydrogen. Then oxygen. All right, so there is the methanol, then the actual. Let's grab some more. Here, how about a stack? So then the raw gasoline is going to be, what else do we need? So we need 16 naphtha, one acetone, and obviously we'll eventually have all this just automated, but uh, I like to just get them going and see what, what happens here. 16 naphtha. What did I say? Refinery gas. I need two. Then we'll get the methanol and then acetone. I think we can. Yeah, we can take it out of here, I think. Although that is low. Why is that? Oh, it only can do eight, I think. Fits in there. Is that right? Which one is acetone? Apparently I had rutile. I didn't even realize that. I should just request a whole bunch. 
Acetone, here it is. Yeah, I can only fit eight in the fluid heater. Here, I have so much. Why don't we just, here, thousand, there we go. Thousand carbon. All right, so refinery gas, naphtha, acetone. So let's go test this out and see if we can set the filters. I feel like it was like a screwdriver or something. I don't remember though. I clicked on it accidentally once and it did it. So hydrogen, oxygen. Uh, how much is this? This will be, this will be 16, I think. Let's just do one to see where it ends up. Because I would like to go in the small one, if it possible. Yeah, I didn't want it to go in that one. Um, I wonder how I can... Maybe, let's move these. Because it may just pick the first one. It can go to and that's probably closer to the the thing so it it chose that one totally guessing i have no idea if that's true yeah so it goes in there now what happens if we like right click this with like a screwdriver or something i'll put steam in items i'll put steam in miscellaneous food i'll put steam i'll put only items only miscellaneous fluids i'll put nothing I puts items in one specific fluid, methanol. Is that what I want? Let's keep going. I puts one specific fluid, methanol. All right, so there we go. Yeah, you just uh, right click it with your screwdriver. Um, so yeah, that's pretty awesome. I don't think I've actually used that function yet. So let's go ahead and do that. That I think I gave it enough, yeah, for 16 methanol. And I, obviously we can't put that in. You can only do it if there's something in there, I believe. If you just right click on this, like normally, oh, it does do that. I feel like I've totally tried that before. And it didn't. Yeah, if you don't have anything in there, it says currently nothing will be locked. So we'll just leave it at that. Uh, but I'll definitely be using that in the future, I think. So, no. Where is there? All right, so methanol, and then the next part will be, did I do this right? Yeah, so I guess we'll put the methanol in there, acetone. Can I lock these? Well, I don't need to lock them because they're gonna be automatically inputted. And refinery gas. Oh, I do need a circuit of 24 though. Did I bring an extra? No, I didn't bring an extra circuit. Yeah, let's do eight. Those are pretty quick in theory. Unless something is not working, I feel like something's not working. No, it's going. What are we waiting for? Oh, it's gone. I'm too impatient. It is working. All right, let's take, we'll take four, I guess, just so we have them. I'm sure we'll need them. All right, so what did I say? 24 I need. So twenty-four. And we'll put that in there. Is that gonna work? Yep, all right, so there it goes. And there is the raw gasoline. All right, perfect. All right, so let's lock this one. All right, so there we go. We finally got the raw gasoline. Now the question is, 
What do I do with it now? Do I feed it back in and make gasoline? Um, I have enough. Man, that's nine. I guess we could do that. Or would it be easier just to send that? Let me see what. Looks like it can only be done in, can it only be done in a, okay, so it can only be done in a large chemical reactor. So that answers that question. Um, let me, uh, what would be easier? Why don't we do it in this one? I will craft up two more input hatches and a third output hatch. All right, we are back and I think I do make tooling, it's quite slow. Um, I really should have multiple uh, distillery towers. That would solve a whole, I could get rid of so many of these dis like uh, single block distilleries. Um, but maybe that, we'll look into that later. I'm just gonna do that, and then we'll let that fill back up. So tooling, throw in there. The gasoline. What happens if I do? Yeah, I figured it would just do the first stuff in there. Does this not fill up if it's not? I don't think I've ever done that actually. All right. So unless that's actually full, it won't. Pull that out. Didn't realize that. Learning all sorts of things today. All right, so there's the raw gasoline, and then this will be. I got to be careful. I don't want to void stuff here. All right, so we do end up with 11. So I'm not going to put that hole. I don't. Yeah, I don't want to put that whole amount in. And I'm. All these cells are. Getting confusing. So there, it's six, is it? Yeah, 10 and one, when we get 11. So 10, and then I have everything else in there. So that should turn it into I may need to hit it again. That was fast. Yep, there we go. So there is our raw gasoline. And then take the other ones. Let's lock that with gasoline. All right, so we got the first part done. Now the second part is the, this is the easy bit. The second bit is the hard bit. So again, let me craft up another large chemical reactor and uh, see what we can get ourselves into. And we are back. And the first thing I'm gonna have to set up here is a, I gotta do crack some, hydro crack some stuff here. Now I also got to, just realized I forgot to grab a second fluid export bus. All right, so I have a bit of a, uh, hmm. So I need light fuel, that's nitric acid. But all the light fuel goes in there. Um, how do I want to do this? Maybe turn that off for now. Although that will fill up. Why don't I just go ahead and break that for now? And put it on here. Because we need the light fuel. Instead of making the diesel, basically we're switching to gasoline. Is kind of what we're doing here. So that is on that. That is on that. And then these will be 
bouncing back and forth. That should, yeah, we want hydrogen there. All right. So I guess we'll do, I only need about four going in there. The light fuel will go in here and then we will hydro crack the light fuel. I think lightly hydro cracked is what we want. So just a one. That goes in there. I hate when that happens. So I need to get my distillery running here. And that will fill up a light fuel and an aptha and all sorts of stuff. So that's good. Um, I also think I figured out kind of a quick side note here is what's turning off the thing is this needs one amp of EV. And if it doesn't get it, obviously this stuff will shut off. And what I think is happening is when I'm running machines in here, it is pulling four amps of EV. So it kind of like starves this one of the amps. I think that's I finally figured out why uh, the uh, distillation tower turns itself off every once in a while. All right, so that's gonna take a little while. Obviously we need 12 buckets of the stuff. And then we need to distill that into, was it octane? I think it was octane that we're going for here. Yeah, there's three ways to get octane. Obviously a distillation tower would probably be the best because then I would get other stuff with it. But uh, for now, we either do severely, lightly, moderately or lightly. And the ratio is 100 to 2, so 2%, 5% or 10% with lightly hydrocracked. So that's why we're doing lightly hydrocracked and Forgot to look at configuration of two. All right, and I do have a pump that will pull it in from there, but obviously we gotta wait for that to fill up. All right, so we got the gasoline done. We got tooling done. Now we just, we there it goes. So now it's creating octane. Perfect, so we got the octane part done. So we got three of it. The nitrous oxide is easy. It's just oxygen and nitrogen in a large chemical reactor. You can't do it in a small one. It has to be in a large one. So that is done. So the only thing left is this ethyl tert butyl ether or whatever it's called. And that is butene and ethanol. So let me uh, take a look at these and see what the best way to get this is. And we are back. So the next part, I'm also going to need some more cracking here. I could probably do the multi-block, but I think you need one for each different fluid you want cracked. So like, I think I'm just going to kind of go the same way I have been doing this. Uh, fluid can or chemical reactor distillery. I mean, it's probably the easiest. Um, but once again, we're going to need light fuel in there, but this time we're going to do steam in there. And uh, there they are. I think there, we're almost done with this set of AE things over here. I think there is 30, I think there's 30 on there or 29 channels on this group now.
but we'll do the usual input from outside that and that so there is the light fuel and I need moderately cracked light fuel for this one steam moderately steam cracked light fuel so a two There's that, and then we will throw, I guess, three in there. Actually, it's by it won't work with the, yeah, it won't work with the universal, so I'll have to, like, go throw it uh, back in the aces. Anyway, so there is the moderately, and then that should be pulling that in. Did I forget to, I may have forgot to. Tell it to import. Yep, I did. So there is that, and then we need butene. So, uh, where are we? Butene. Uh, this one is the one we're doing. So we need a five. And I just realized there is, we get carbon out of this, so I'm gonna have to deal with that as well. So there is that. Let me uh, grab an import. I guess it would be a, do I wanna, I probably want, we'll do the ME import bus for the carbon, but I'm gonna want a fluid storage bus or I'm probably going to need that. Yeah. Dang it, do I have enough for one? Hold up. I'll worry about that uh, in a second. But uh, the ME import bus we definitely do need. Because that'll it'll stop after 21 things. It'll fill up. Um, where are we? All right. All right, so there's the butene. So we got our butene, we got our octane. Now, the etrol, whatever it's called, high, high octane. Where are we? The last thing we need is this. So we got our butene, now we need the ethanol. Fortunately, I don't have any of this. This would probably be... Rum, biomass, corn, vodka, <laughs> wood vinegar. Oh man, look at that ratio. 2%, 1%. Fermented reed water, fermented wheat. Very small. Uh, fermented biomass. I do get fertilizer on it, so that's not terrible. So fermented biomass, how do we get that? Wash. Although, yeah, if we do, like, say, wash or fermented reed water, we get four out of that. But then I need a thousand for a oh, fermenter. Here we go. Biomass. Yeah, bio chaff with distilled water. Um, all right, but we're about wrapping up point. So I'm going to take some time here and figure out how... How I want to do this. Now, the question is, how much of this do we actually need? Ooh, okay. Well, it's a one to one. I mean, it's not super difficult to make, but uh, yeah. I'm going to go through this and. Ooh, biomass. All right. So I could just do. Uh, this is probably what I'm going to do a brewing machine and then using the farm to get biomass, turn that into ethanol. All right, so that's what we're gonna do. Um, but we're gonna have to do that next episode. And then next episode, we will uh, get the last chemical reactor built, get our high octane gasoline built, and we can finally start burning this 
in our uh, diesel gens and I think I can supply multiple diesel gens with this. So hopefully uh, we'll get that and we will see how much power we can get out of that next episode. But anyway, that's going to be for today. So thanks for watching and have a good one.